today we are here to learn how to make a venison pot we are located in the Eastern Cape South Africa and we've got two expert pot makers firstly Dr. Spike Erasmus and secondly Dr. Rocco de Villiers so here we go so gentlemen tell me what's happening here I'm Spike Erasmus, I'm an orthopedic surgeon, here's my big friend, Dr. De Villiers, who's also an orthopedic surgeon. But you know, in our profession, we're very versatile. We can fix a bicycle, we can fix a leg, we can shoot, we can cook, we can nearly do anything. Now, I just want to show you a little bit here, it's a little bit smoky here, so my eyes are not always open. But I want to show you how we do a venison pot. We have been hunting for the week, we shot a few villabiers, Impala, bushbuck, and what we have done then, we've cut all the meat of the bones, and all the bones that's left, we put into the spot. So if you cook it for 24 hours, the bones, the meat comes off the pot, uh, off the bones. You can see there, my friend, I'm going to show you how a bone look. Doctor, just, just show them there, you see? So we cook all the meat off. Part of the business is to fetch all the bones, you know, it's like in rugby, you're a ball fetcher, now I'm a bone fetcher. I fetch all the bones and I tuck them in the bone here for the dogs. So, <laughs> the big problem here is to cook but not to overcook because if you cook a lot stuff burns and if it burns it's a big, big problem and the whole effort is spoiled. So as the day progresses we have to become more careful we cook away all the water and then we have to be very slow but by that time we had a lot of beer so we have to be careful not to have too many beers and forget about the pot now as you can see we're getting a bit old and grey so we really want next year the youngsters to come and make this pot and we can just sit around and have some beers and that gentlemen is how you make a venison pot in South Africa.